I finished high school, when I was 18 years old, becoming an academic was the last thing I wanted to do. I, I thought, these academics don't know where the real world is all about. What changed for you? Well, I think I just accumulated over, over the five or six years after high school a craving for, for knowing what really turns the world. How do you feel? My main motivation and my main question has always been how our brain, how our visual system organizes the flow of, of incoming sensory information into something that it can really work with. Can you just keep doing that? Uh, yeah, sure. I used to work in face recognition and I ended up working with pigeons. Pigeons are, are relatively um, social as well and, and there's lots of need for them to, to recognize each other individually. But it also turned out that they are not interested whatsoever in static images of pigeon faces. Uh, what they were interested in was motion, and I ended up studying motion perception in pigeons and then later in humans, and, and that's what we are doing now. Okay, so left thigh. So you want it so that it sits on the side, so that it faces... There's lots of yep. properties of emotional um, states, personality traits that we can retrieve from the way someone um, moves. Just walk naturally okay, a bit quicker than that. So if you go to our webpage here at biomotionlab.ca, that just shows you how much information you can retrieve from, in this case, just 15 dots. You not only get demos, but you get a, a couple of serious experiments. The experiment I want to show you here is, is one where people have to guess the gender, the sex of, of individual point light walkers. This, I guess, is a man. I guess this is a woman. Oh yeah, I got 8 out of 10 correct. Here, wow. And so we can, we can run experiments that require not just 10 subjects or 100 subjects, but we can collect data from 10,000. There's mainly two areas or applications that we are interested in. The most obvious is really um, um, computer animation. Artificially, we can generate biological motion patterns that make a walker with a certain, um, say, gender or age or emotions or personality traits. and it it becomes the more interesting, the more realistic um, computer animation has become. On the clinical side, I think there is lots we can help to improve both in working with neurological patients as well as working with orthopedic patients. But the third area is really uh, uh, mental health. Over the last two years, I had worked together with, with a colleague in clinical um, psychology on the changes in gait that we observe with clinically depressed people. We are asking whether not only does the way you feel change the way you move, but we want to explore whether the way you move can also have an effect on the way you feel. If you're really interested in something, you, you find your niche and your, your speciality. You, you need a real interest. You have to figure that out first. Yeah. Yeah. It took me a long time to figure it out. But. Um, I very much like what I'm doing now. Yeah.